Commander, we've done what we could for Garrus, but he took a bad hit. The doc's corrected with surgical procedures and some cybernetics. Best we can tell, he'll have full functionality, but... Shepard? <laughs> Tough son of a bitch. Didn't think he'd be up yet. Our body. Nobody would give me a mirror. How bad is it? Uh... Hell, Garrus, you were always ugly. Slap some face paint on there, and no one will even notice. <laughs> oh, oh, don't make me laugh. Damn it, my face is barely holding together as it is. Ah, uh, probably for the best. Dog, Everyone bro. was always ignoring you and hitting on me. Time for you to get a fair shot at it. Frankly, I'm more worried about you. I've heard bad things about Cerberus these past few years. That's why I'm glad you're here, Garrus. If I'm walking into hell, I want someone I trust at my side. You realize this plan has me walking into hell, too. Just like old times. I'm fit for duty whenever you need me, Shepard. I'll settle in and see what I can do with the forward batteries. That's my dog. Business. It's all we know how to stand on around here. It's gonna be the shortest episode. I was not expecting it to continue. I was hoping they're gonna like give me a second to like go around and figure out some stuff first. So I apologize for episode three of this being a minute long, but y'all just gonna have to deal with that. Let's go ahead and upgrade some of these people first, though. Be faster, fiercer, more powerful on the battlefield. I feel like that's gonna like be the best. That's kind of, but I didn't get that to level three. See if there's anything else around here. Oh, armory. Effort. Two options. Arc projector. Jacobs, my boy. There hasn't been time to really settle in and take stock. I want to say that working with you is a great opportunity to do something that matters. It's a privilege to serve on the Normandy, Commander. You may change your tune if we end up like the original Normandy. Maybe. As long as the elusive man walks his talk. And you do the same, I'll do my best to make sure we succeed. Respect. That's been the condition for my service so far. I have issues with certain actions Cerberus has taken in the past. What has Cerberus done to make you nervous? A lot. They've been called terrorists, and with good reason. Doubt you can find a more checkered past. But if the Collector threat is real, and we do something about it, Cerberus will be remembered differently. Or we'll all be tried and executed. Can't count on people thinking about it as hard as I have. I appreciate your it's honesty. It's good to hear a clear opinion. Sounds like we're two of a kind. That honors me more than you, Commander. Let me know if you need anything. Just stay alive. And don't make me choose between you and Miranda. I'm gonna have grievances. Like, oh my God, Miranda's about to sacrifice herself, but Jacob, he's about to die too. Bro, why did y'all do this to me? Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. And what's up? Uh, what's... Oh, hold up. I kind of like this. I, I like the the lack of a clean look. Damn it. There we go. Uh, report tell us you've been operating. In, in, in. Glad I didn't sign up. Hey, Arya gave me this address thing. Afterlife on Omega. You stopped me from up with those perks. We're trying to take an argument. I was so pissed off at you. I got blind drunk that night. Be lady before I got together enough to check the news viz. I saw almost all those mercs died in kill bark ain't. I don't know who you are, but you got out there live yourself. Uh oh, but thanks. Uh I feel really stupid when I heard about the body count. I could have been part of it. I'll make the most with what you did for me, John Winston. I got you. Yo, what up, Flock? How you doing? You said we might be hooping later if you want to run, not sure who's supposed to play. 
Uh, if they do it all. For sure. I actually got to re-download 2K. <laughs> the last time I played it, the last time I played that, I think was when I played with y'all. I think that was like the last time I played it, but for sure. I'll re-download it. Cruise quarters, engineer. Okay, so my personal chain. Go to the cruise quarters. The bet, though, that's a bet. Chef surprise again. Come on, Rupert. I'm sorry. Prince Hold up, is Auntie here? Commander Shepard. Oh! I the Normandy crumble with you on board. It's good to see you alive. Nice to see a familiar face, Doctor. I feel the same. I wish more of the original I'll say, be let them holler at me. I'm with it. you endured would have changed most people. But not you, I see. Welcome back, Shepard. Do you have everything you need? I believe so. This medical bay seems very much like the sick bay on the original Normandy. Only thing missing are my private reserves. I even had a bottle of Ceres ice brandy that I was saving for a special occasion. You drink brandy, you different. I'll keep an eye out for a replacement bottle. Oh, you needn't. It's expensive, and we have much larger concerns ahead. You're not the Cerberus type, Doctor. I don't work for Cerberus. I work for you. On a mission that may be crucial you know to the, the human race. I have faith that your dealings with Cerberus will be ethical. I trust you, Commander. Come on now. I'll see you later, Doctor. Commander. I always gotta show love to the doc, you feel me? He held us down when she was real. We almost died. She came through. Commander Shepard, the hero of the Citadel. You did humanity proud that day. You sound like an announcer. Rupert Gardner here. How can I be a service? Need anything, bro? You have everything you need. I make do, but have you ever tried to prepare a decent meal with military provisions? Practically impossible. I'm good, but I'm no miracle worker. Taking down the collectors is going to be rough business. The crew deserves a few fine meals before they throw themselves into the fire. These are facts. How can I help? If I had some quality ingredients... Oh, shit. You've got more to worry about than grocery shopping on the Citadel. Forget I mentioned it. Bro, well, give me the list. If I head that way, I'll keep an eye out. Much appreciated. Most of this list is probably standard fare for those Namby Pambies on the Citadel. Anything else you'd like to talk about? How do you feel about working for Cerberus? Damn proud. Cerberus gets the job done. The Alliance and Council have got their heads buried so deep up their butt puckers they can't see squat. It'll take good old human ingenuity to crush what these puckers. Vermin. Only Cerberus knows that. I won't take any more of your time. I respect. Here's the work. thing. I respect people who stand on 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 business, like what they say, what they say. I don't fuck with Cerberus like that. But if he's like, hey, I rock with him, then hey, bro, I can respect it. Just know I will clap sure. you if need be. Need me for something? I just want to talk, bro. You got a minute? It's been a minute. Sure. Just checking the weapon systems. You can never be too careful. I thought I'd seen every weapon in the galaxy in our fight against Saren. Mercenary work showed me otherwise. And now Cerberus rebuilds the Normandy with a few upgrades to boot. I wish we'd joined up with them sooner. Huh. I'm pleased to see that you're getting along with the new crew. They're as friendly to me as people from a group like Cerberus can be. And they've got you vouching for them. I can't exactly doubt your judgment. Not after I got my own squad killed. How do those mercenary gangs take down your team? It was my own damn fault. One of my people betrayed me. A Turian named Sidonis. He drew me away just before the mercs attacked my squad. Then he disappeared. Everyone except me is dead because of him. And because I didn't see it coming. I'm not sure I understand. What happened exactly? Sidonis asked for my help on a job. When I got to the meeting point, nobody was there. By the time I got back to our hideout, the mercs had killed all but two of my squad. And they didn't last long. Do you know where Sidonis is now? No. His trail vanishes after he leaves Omega, but I'll keep hunting. 
I lost my whole team except for Sedonis. One day I'll find him and correct that. Oh, we don't get that back in blood, brother. Thanks for coming by. Shepherd. Come a word. I've got some things to take care of. So now we got another side mission. Hey, yo, shout out to Dizzle for telling me to talk to everybody. Like, I normally do try to, like, go around and talk to folks. Like, you know. And just figure out what's up. You know what I mean? Hey, Miranda, what's up, shouty? Commander, what can I do for you? You have a minute, Miranda? No doubt you've got a lot of questions. Cerberus isn't as evil as most people believe. If I can help allay any of your concerns, I'd be happy to do so. So, what would you like to know? What's with this change of tone? Tell me about yourself, Miranda. Oh, I guess that's fair. I've spent the last two years learning everything there is to know about you. Well, you should probably know that I've had extensive genetic modification. Not my decision, but I make the most of it. It's one of the reasons the elusive man handpicked me. I'm very good at just about anything I choose to do. <sighs> what level of genetic modification are we talking about? That's very thorough. Physically, I'm superior in many ways. I heal quickly and I'll likely live half again as long as the average human. My biotic abilities are also very advanced. For a human. Add to that some of the best training and education money can buy and... Well, it's pretty impressive, really. So you're perfect. Sounds like you were designed to be perfect. Maybe. But I'm not. I'm still human, Shepard. I make mistakes like everyone else. And when I do, the consequences are severe. Everyone expects a lot from someone with my abilities. Thanks for the information, Miranda. I'll talk to you later. Of course, Commander. Whatever you need. I need some hit. All right. Let me, st <laughs> <laughs> let me stop. Let me stop. Let me chill. Let me chill. <laughs> oh, oh, I need. Oh, I'm going to have a lot of fun doing this. So I finally, it looks like I have a game. Actually, I'm still probably going to be recording most of this stuff whenever I do play it. It's probably one of those games where like I'll be in Discord playing it. And if you in here, then you might be part of the recording. I should be a year old next month. Oh. But other than that, most of this will probably be streamed. Why am I in the women's restroom? Why can I go in there? What type of person? All right, bro. Could be vulnerable to collector attacks. Hey. What if it were platinum? Eighty some million records worldwide later than I'm living. came all the way down here to see us? You're speaking to our commanding officer. I'm touring the ship, getting to know my crew. I'm Engineer Ken Donnelly, handling the power control systems. This is Gabby. That's Engineer Gabriella Daniels, actually. I'm responsible for the propulsion systems. What can we do for you, Commander? Did you set up okay down here? We can't complain. I just wish it didn't take so long to calibrate the FBA arrays, the Kenneth, you're complaining. What kind of problem? They do you have? realize that well, like this the is design, they got the ship that we must take care of, right? I won't bore you with the tech, but there's an array of attenuators in the primary power transfer system that channels the field bleed. Kenneth, you're boring the commander with tech. In short, if we had T6 FBA couplings installed, it'd save us a lot of maintenance time each day. Hey. Why isn't something like that already installed? It's probably just a design oversight. Efficiency isn't affected. It's a maintenance issue. Also, the T6 model can be hard to find. Nash and Stellar Dynamics discontinued them. We could probably find used ones in the Omega markets, but we have no time for shore leave. Yo, Daniels don't let the nigga talk. Yo, facts! Carry on. Well do, Commander. I'm yeah. amazed Shepard came down to see us. I told you he would. I'm a major shepherd came down to see us. It's like, bro, y'all are part of my crew. Like, why would I not come see the people who are helping this ship run the way it runs? Like,
beauty, isn't it? Pride that off the Krogan warlord, Kazak. Used to run the blood pack out of Omega about 17 years ago. Wasn't even a job. The guy just thought he'd hijack a freighter I was hitchhiking on. Big mistake. I goaded Gizark into one-on-one -on -one combat. Took out his legs, grabbed his gun, and killed every blood pack bastard in the room. That was the most beaten Krogan I've ever seen. Kept a helmet to remind me of that pained expression. You are kind of a sick brother. I like it. Thinking about past missions. Got a minute. You might learn something. So you knew Archangel from before. Interesting. Knew a lot of men taking jobs to kill the son of a bitch. I never saw the point. You know, I wanted the same thing. A whole lot of mercs dead. Hell of a sniper, Bro. though. And he kept himself alive with all the mercs in Omega after him. That ain't easy. I was trying to remember how many Cerberus operatives I've killed. Lost track around 50. I've dealt with that. elusive man's big on forgiveness. Oh yeah, that's a model of the Varicon. Turian frigate, hell of a ship. I led a mission to bring that thing down from the inside with just five men and whatever guns we could bring. No chance of success, but we did it. Everyone died. Abandoned. My first impossible mission as an independent contractor. There's been many since, but nothing so goddamn sweet as watching that Turian warship crash planet side. Herge, bro, I'm out of here. This dude over here just. It says team members in there, ain't nobody in there. Yet. We gonna get some folks up in there, motherfucker. But uh, I, oh hold on, I haven't talked to my dog Joker yet. You no, know we gotta talk to Big Joke. Hey, Commander, we got Garrus back. That's great, cause he was totally my favorite. With that pole up his ass. I assume everything is going well up here. I really want a chance to put the Normandy through her paces. I just have to trim up the drive output and it'll be like we never lost her. Safety standards advise against manipulating drive settings while engines are powered and in use, Mr. Moreau. Commander, can we shut this thing off? I don't need it in my day to day. If you don't want to hear it, turn the damn sound off. Well, it doesn't change anything. It's still watching. Like some creepy kid staring at the back of your head in comp side. You just want to punch him but he's special and he sets fires or something okay a little too far there but you know what i mean Damn. your problem not mine thanks i'll remember this ever think about the old normandy and the trouble we got up to <laughs> yeah those seem Probably like the good old days now like said, but come on it, it was hell at the time geth saren sovereign and then we got dumped we're stuck in a weird place sure but back then it wasn't all sunshine and bunnies what happened to the rest of the old crew? I heard most survived. Almost did. Presley didn't. And the rest of us just sort of drifted apart. The Alliance didn't care. I don't think they liked all the non-humans in your crew. We were your team, Commander. With the Normandy destroyed and you gone, there wasn't much keeping us together. That's it for now. See ya, Commander. Did not mean to do that. So once I died, that's when everybody left, essentially. That's sad.
Okay. Save humanity through. Oh, so we gotta beat the game. Let me stop looking at those because they're gonna spoil like people I'm gonna meet. Yo, I got the fish tank for the hose. Hey yo, the vibe okay? Hey yo. <laughs> I really like that. Ancient drip a little bit. Epic music on the entry on the exit. All right. I don't play this game. 